I want to talk to you about what you need to know about living in Burlington, Ontario. My name is Daniel Hale. I'm a licensed real estate agent that's living in Burlington, Ontario, and I've been here for 34 years. And by the end of this video, you're probably going to understand why. I've raised my kids here and I absolutely love this city. People are drawn to Burlington, Ontario for its natural beauty waterfront and its family friendly atmosphere. It's also one of the safest cities to live in all of Ontario which gives the residents here an extreme amount of comfort. Burlington, Ontario is also known as a mid-sized city and in 2023 the current population is just under 200,000 people which means it's very quiet and peaceful compared to its neighboring cities like those bigger cities such as Toronto and Hamilton. Hamilton, Ontario, which personally is one of my favorite things and why I love living here so much. I'm not much of a party animal. I enjoy the peace and quiet of the neighborhoods here, the family friendly atmosphere and having the perfect combination of peaceful enjoyment and nightlife which you will see here on the weekends, downtown Burlington. If you do like to go out and mingle, that is the place to be, and that will typically happen on Friday and Saturday nights. But the truth is, it's not a party city. So if you're looking to live in a party city, you're probably gonna wanna go over to Hamilton or Toronto, because Burlington, you're just not gonna get that here. Now, Burlington, Ontario also has an incredible location. It's sitting right off of Lake Ontario, and it's also right next to the Niagara Escarpment. You are in the middle of Toronto and the Niagara Falls, which is also another reason why I absolutely love living here because I can go both directions to Toronto or Niagara Falls within half an hour, 45 minutes. So it's super convenient if I want to go to Toronto, catch one of the big professional sports, or if you're somebody that has employment over there and wants to work within Toronto but also enjoy the benefits of a more affordable city like Burlington. Because let's be honest, Toronto is a lot more expensive and that's why a lot of people have been moving from Toronto over to Burlington and Hamilton and those surrounding areas. Now the waterfront is absolutely beautiful. It's a place where everybody likes to go to enjoy some peace and quiet and just get some relaxation. In the summertime, you can walk along the pier, you can grab some ice cream, you can dine in at one of the incredible patios that are right off of the water, enjoy some food. You can also go to one of the bars, the nightlife, catch a drink, hang out with friends, take the kids down to the park, enjoy the beach, go for a swim. Maybe you wanna jump in the water and enjoy some of the water sports or go boating, fishing. There's just so much to do downtown Burlington. It's beautiful. You will also see a lot of condos down there if you're somebody that likes to live right downtown within the busier parts. And trust me, it's still not that busy. And beside downtown Burlington, you'll also see two of my favorite neighborhoods, Roseland and Shore Acres. Now, these houses are massive. They offer you a lot of land and you're living right off of the water, enjoying those incredible picturesque views. Burlington, Ontario really offers a quality of life that absolutely everybody can enjoy. You have great schools, shopping centers, restaurants, recreational facilities, parkland, festivals, golf courses, hockey arenas, just about everything that you're looking for is here within Burlington, Ontario. And speaking of those festivals, they are very, very popular festivals that people come from all around Ontario just to enjoy. And that's also downtown Burlington, right by the water, such as the Sound of Music, Rib Fest, and the Festival of Lights. The Sound of Music and Rib Fest kind of speaks for itself. There's a ton of ribs, ton of food, sound of music. You can enjoy the live bands, grab a drink, and just hang out. There's also a carnival, cotton candy, and all of that fun stuff for the kids. Maybe you wanna grab a funnel cake or some dessert. It's amazing and so many people come to enjoy this. I definitely make sure that I do not miss this every year. So if you're in Burlington, you'll definitely catch me down there. Make sure you say hello. And the Festival of Lights, that happens during Christmas time. They light up all of downtown Burlington with a bunch of Christmas lights. 
You can grab a nice warm drink, coffee, hot chocolate, walk down by the pier, enjoy those lights, take some pictures. It's beautiful and you can enjoy all of the Christmas festivities. Now let's talk about the neighborhoods and the home affordability. It's not a cheap place to live. Now if you are comparing it to Oakville, Mississauga, and Toronto, you will find that it is a lot more affordable but it is on a little bit more of the expensive side for all of these reasons that I mentioned. Now there are a lot of great neighborhoods however, and the truth is the closer you are to the water, the more expensive it does get. If you are living in that Shore Acres and Roseland community, the homes are more expensive there, but they are also a lot bigger there, and as I mentioned, you do get those waterfront views and everything that downtown Burlington has to offer, which I can't even fully explain in this video. You just have to see it. And if you're somebody that's looking for a lot of land, you're gonna wanna go to rural Burlington, which is closer to the escarpment. If you're somebody that likes hiking, you wanna enjoy the trails, maybe go rock climbing, or just enjoy all that green space, that's the place for you. Rural Burlington offers some nice houses, that also are very quiet because you're in that rural area and you will get a lot of land. A little bit harder to get into because there's not as many houses there and of course it's a bit more of an expensive area as well. Now you do have a ton of family friendly neighborhoods as I mentioned and just to name a few of them like Brant Hills, Millcroft, Tyandaga, Alton Village, and Palmer. These are all great family friendly neighborhoods where you will find I would say about the mid priced homes within Burlington, Ontario. Now overall, you just cannot go wrong living here, no matter what you're looking for. And if you wanna see current home prices, just shoot me an email, send me a text, or give me a call, because you could be watching this video in a few months from the time it was posted and prices do change. So I'll make sure I give you an up-to-date list and help you with your move to Burlington, Ontario. I'd love to welcome you guys to Burlington, Ontario, and don't hesitate to reach out, because I love hearing from you. I'll see you guys in the next video.